So I'm always excited to bring new watches and new brands to the channel. And today I have a pretty awesome brand to show you guys. I am very excited about it. It is not K-N-O-T. As you can see there, it says made in Japan. This is an automatic column wheel vertical clutch chronograph that is actually made by Seiko. So the automatic movement inside is made by Seiko. That is the NE88. Uh, and if you are familiar with the NE88, you know that Seiko actually put those in some of their higher end uh, automatic chronographs. And then the case is actually finished by a company or a manufacturer that actually manufactures for Grand Seiko. So they make the case and finish the case, which is pretty awesome. So as I said, this is made in Japan. So the straps are made in Japan as well. I'm gonna show it to you very quickly. Uh, it comes in an outer box. It is cardboard inner box leather. Just has a little plaque here that's made out of metal. Inside is the watch case. As you can see, this is a black dial chronograph. I have the chronograph already running, and I'll show you that in just a few seconds. And obviously, you have to put the strap on. There's a few different straps that this came with. Um, I'm going to put it on the more traditional black strap. This is a black calf leather strap that is actually made in Japan. Part of what they do is make straps. So uh, they actually have a big section on their website four straps and they are all interchangeable with all of their watches because all of their watches essentially have an 18 millimeter lug width. Uh, they all have quick release. So you are able to interchange between your watches if you own more than one watch from the brand, which is very clever. It's a good idea. Uh, makes it very easy to switch in and out uh, from watch to watch. So here's the watch. I threw it on this black leather, calf leather strap uh, it's a very nice strap made in Japan as well, as I mentioned, uh, just a suede underliner and then a really nice buckle on here. I'll show you the buckle in a few minutes. 40 millimeter case on here, 14 millimeter thick, 48 millimeter lug to lug is what I measured. Uh, 39.6 or 7 at that bezel because the bezel is actually a little bit smaller than the case. So it actually makes it look a little bit smaller than it actually is. So it does wear like a 40 millimeter though. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes on my wrist. The NE88, which is a higher end movement, as I mentioned, from Seiko. It's not like a 6R. It's a little bit more higher end than a 6R movement, I would say. Uh, however, decoration-wise or looks-wise, it looks very similar to a 6R movement. Um, they do not put a display case back on here. It is a polished case back with the Not logo. Um, but the dial is beautiful on here. So you're getting a black dial. It is a matte black dial. Applied indices, those indices are all polished. You get a black polish on all of those indices. You can see as I move it around in the light, you get little circles around the sub registers. That's also polished. And then really beautiful polished hands on here, faceted polished hands, very sharp. Um, and then you get a second hand reaches that outer track, that minute track. And then you have a re -hot with a 60 minute counter on there. Um, and then you have a little counterbalance, which is the not logo. It just says not timepieces and automatic. That's it. Japan made at the bottom. Um, really nicely executed dial. Very, very crisp, beautiful polishing. Uh, and every, everything is really, really clean. Obviously, everything lines up as well, which is something that Seiko do, do very well. Uh, so that 12 o'clock indice lines up perfectly with that chapter ring and looks very, very sharp. Um, of course, this is a chronograph, so you do get very, very good uh, action with the chronograph from Seiko. It is a column wheel and a vertical clutch, so I have it running really sharp, nice action on it, um, and it resets perfectly there to the 12 o'clock. Uh, just really nice, uh, really nice setup on this watch. No loom, because this is sort of like a dress watch. Um, and then you get very nice finishing. Now I mentioned the finishing on this watch is done by a manufacturer that actually manufactures cases for Grand Seiko and they also finish those cases. So you could see you get horizontal brushing on the sides of the watch. You get polishing on the top of the case and then polishing on the back of the case. The case back is entirely polished. I'll do a close up of the case back. Has that not logo just sort of etched in there. Uh, 100 meters of water resistance, you're getting a sapphire crystal, it's 14 millimeters with the sapphire crystal, AR coating on the sapphire crystal as well. 
Uh, you do get a little bit more brushing on the actual inside of the lugs, which looks really good. It gives it sort of a little bit of character um, and then a little bit of a turned look on the lugs, which looks really very nice. Um, very sharp as well. The transitions between polishing and brushing are some of the sharpest that I have ever seen from any brand major. It doesn't matter, even when I'm talking about my Vacheron. So this is pretty much almost on par with my Vacheron. And I was thinking about bringing my Vacheron to show you guys. Maybe I will do that in the full review. I'm going to show you a bunch of straps that they have in the full review, but I wanted to show you one very quickly that is really cool. This is a handmade, hand knotted silk strap that is made in Japan. It is a NATO strap. It's a single pass through. Beautiful strap. It's just so nice. I think it's like $65. Um, and speaking of price, this is a $1,400 watch. Now you might think that's a lot of money, but in my opinion, this is a phenomenal price for this watch. There's maybe one or two things I would change about this watch. One is the crown size. The crown is small, it's signed. It's just a little small. It's sort of in keeping with the pushers. I wish they made it a little bit bigger. That's probably my only complaint about this watch at all. You have double drilled lugs just for, uh, you know, if you're gonna use it on a strap or a bracelet, just really thoughtful um, and so well executed. Um, the date. Now, normally I would complain about the date and I still will complain a little bit about the date because I would prefer this watch without a date whatsoever. That's just the way I am. However, this date is actually pretty cool. They put a clear date wheel with a silver back to it. Um, so it almost looks like a hologram when you're looking at it. it kind of tricked me the first time I saw it um, and I was a little bit confused and then I got to you know, look at it really close and it looks awesome. I'll do close-ups of that as well. It's not color matched, but it's sort of color matched to the indices, which is very different. And I'm, like I said, they paid a lot of attention to detail on this watch uh, and it definitely shows. Uh, it's a very nicely sized chronograph as well. 14 millimeters on the thicker side, but you're getting a chronograph movement. It is automatic. Um, and if this was a value movement, it would be a lot thicker than that especially with 100 meters of water resistance. So I don't think that's bad. Uh, crown is push-pull, by the way, just uh, so you guys know it is not a screw-down crown. Very quickly, I'm gonna throw this on my wrist um, and then we will wrap up the video. So $1,400, you're getting NE88 column wheel chronograph. Pretty awesome. Now, I don't think Seiko make a watch currently with the NE88. They make it with an NE86 which is just exactly the same movement, it's slightly upgraded. Um, and I believe that watch starts at around $4,000. And I think that's the cheapest watch that you can actually get a Seiko chronograph movement in until you get to Grand, Grand Seiko. Grand Seiko, forget about it, a lot more money. However, this has Grand Seiko level finishing. Um, beautiful finishing on this, it is incredible. And all of their automatic watches do get this finishing. And I actually have one of their sport watches in here uh, for review. That gets a Miyota 9000 series movement in it with the same level of finishing on the case. It is pretty incredible. And I'm very excited to show you that watch as well. So very quickly, I'm gonna throw this on my wrist. Before I do, let me show you the watch I have on. Uh, today, I have a very weird watch. And I just hit that because it's actually a little bit low. This is an automatic watch. It is a Ventura. This is a Ventura Spark MGS. It is an automatic quartz watch that it actually, this little automatic movement right here powers the actual display right here, which is sort of a uh, LED display or LCD display. It's a negative display. Um, and this is an ETA based movement, but it's like a pr proprietary sort of setup that they've made uh, Ventura. Ventura have been defunct for quite some time, uh, but this is like tegmented steel. It's a Doranox or something like that. Very, very cool. Sapphire crystal, very heavy, beautiful, futuristic driving watch. Kind of reminds me of like something that MBNF would make. That's why I love this watch. Um, I did videos about this watch. I think it's really cool. Um, anyway, talking about cool watches, here is the, this is called the ATC4. 
40. 40, I guess, refers to the actual size of the case, um, and it is a chronograph. So really, just something special. I'm going to do a full review on this. I'm going to show you all of the straps that they sent me on it. I'm gonna do the same for the sport watch that they sent me, but here it is. On my seven and a half inch wrist, you could see this looks pretty damn killer. I am super excited about this watch. Uh, I'm super excited about this brand. I am so happy to bring it to you guys. Uh, $1,400 for a watch that is basically sort of a cross between Grand Seiko and Seiko. And it's the higher end Seiko level. You know, it's not like your uh, forearm movements. You're getting a pretty high end movement in here. Uh, and then you're getting a pretty high end finished case as well. Make some smudges on here. There is no loom. However, on the sport watch, there is loom, so we'll do a loom shot. I'm not sure what loom is on there. I'm pretty sure it's not Luma Bright, uh, but we will do a loom shot when we do that uh, video. We'll do an unboxing on that and a full review as well, uh, trying all the straps on there as well. Strap changes are very easy. Everything has the integration of the quick release, so uh, pretty awesome. Uh, and the buckles on here are pretty bespoke as well. Uh, I'll do a close, -up, uh, a close up of it. It's basically all polished. On the underside, it's finished as well, um, which is really nice. They have not actually brushed on the underside, polished on the top side, and then the logo right there, uh, that little knot, uh, which is pretty awesome. And it's just beautiful. I, I really, very well done, very well executed. Uh, but tell me what you guys think of this watch in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of this brand? Um, I think it's pretty damn impressive what they are offering for the price. I think this is really impressive, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I really want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you guys think of this watch. What do you think of the brand? They make a lot of other watches. All of their watches are actually made in Japan, but a lot of their watches are quartz movements. They only make a handful of automatic movements. Uh, and I actually have two to show you, which I am very happy about. Uh, a lot of their other watches, I'm not sure where the finishing actually happens. They have Miyota movements or Seiko movements, um, but the automatics I know are, are finished in that factory that also fa finish and manufacture Grand Seiko cases. And uh, honestly, I think that's a huge selling point for them. Um, and also obviously the Seiko movement. Very, very cool. Um, I really like it. Uh, I hope you guys do too. Uh, and uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in 